G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up a 10th Gen, 10th Gen Inspiron 15 5000. This particular one is coming up with no hard drive detected, which is very odd, considering it's relatively new. It does have the model number P90F002, or over here it's known as an Inspiron 5593. To get in here, we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, just a small one, and possibly a pry tool to be able to lift the plastic up. We'll see how we go. So undoing the screws, they don't seem to want to come all the way out. We are missing two down here. That's just lifted up the back cover there. This will probably do the same, hopefully. Yep. To get into this one's going to be very straightforward. This one here is just spinning, so I'm assuming the plastic mount is broken. And that one's actually wanting to leave. So I'm just getting my nails in here. I'm just seeing if I can lift it. It's probably better to start at the back, actually. So we'll try that. that I want to will need a pry tool. So I'll go off one of these. I should just be able to pull it through the seam, the split between the plastic. That lift it up. There we go. And out. And that's the metal barb just came out of here. Inside. And looking inside, we have one SSD here, which I'll just disconnect the battery, which should be pretty straightforward. And then I will we'll also cover what could be upgraded or changed on this particular model. So to begin with, we've got the battery, which is held in one, two, three screws. One, two, three. But I want to disconnect it. So I should just be able to pull this tab here. I need to pull the sides of it as well. There we go, we have one battery disconnected. With the battery disconnected, we could upgrade the RAM. We could upgrade the NVMe, which I very well may need to do. And the Wi-Fi card over here. You do also have the tools to install a 2.5 inch SSD or hard drive over here if you do choose to do so. RAM wise, pull these out, RAM flicks up like that, 45 degree angle, and just pull out. There is a little notch here that you do have to match up on the board. So it goes in on a 44, 35, 45 degree angle, push down, and that's the RAM installed. You don't need to configure it. You don't really need to do any major tweaks. You just need to physically plug it in and the computer should figure it out from there. Next up is the NVMe over here. I have one screw, two screw. It doesn't want to leave. This is annoying. Pull back. We do have this little adapter bracket. Most SSDs will fill this full space. Pull that out. We have a Western Digital SN520 NVMe SSD. I'm just going to quickly try that in an, in an enclosure and make sure that it is functioning before I put it back in. So that tested out just fine. So what I'm wanting to do now is putting this back into this bracket here. So you may need to undo that screw there. In this instance, I don't. What we should have to do from here. Well, it is a bit fiddly, it shouldn't be as fiddly, but I'd say it's a poor design by Dell with this adapter bracket. Especially the tab over here that it needs to click in. So yeah, I'm not exactly happy with that. That should be connected and should be fine. So just a quick walk around the board just to see what we can see. Charger board, if you do damage that, it is replaceable. I have to lift up the hinge and I think it probably looks like it snakes around just here. Wi-Fi card is also upgradable. Not sure what this. Uh, I'm not sure what this connection is. 
but it literally says ODD. So essentially this model does have the option to have a disk drive in there, which assumably, looking at this mess right here, all these flex cables, and all it looks to be going to is a single USB and a card reader. Where are we going to? We're going to power. This one over here going off. This one here, I'm not sure what we are here. But it looks very archaic, this section, compared to what I'm normally seeing in most laptops. Do have the screen connector going up here. Um, from here, and down here, we do have the one, two, three, four screws there. Hard drive connector there. So that's one, two, three. Bracket will come out, and you can put your drive in from there. But from here, I'm going to reconnect the battery once more. And hopefully be able to get this to power on and actually detect the hard drive. Now, do you have to be cautious not to bend the pins? There are many, many, or well, about eight pins in there. There we go, that's it now installed. And I'm going to put the back cover back on it. And just flip it over and see if I can get this to power up once more. And hopefully it will boot this time. So I'm going to just loosely leave the screws for now. But you should just be able to click them in at the front and put those screws up as you work around. As you see, that one just launched out. And then do the back screws last once you've got it all back together. Hope this helps if you're looking at upgrade possibilities. And I'll see you later. Bye.